So now we are going to start with the topic that is LBG, which is known as Lit-Abuser Gray Algorithm. This is an algorithm which is used for vector quantization purpose. Now let's see if uh, I just give you a review back regarding the uh, vector quantization. So I hope you all remember that we were designing a code book in the vector quantization. So that particular code book was comprising of set of code vectors. If you remember, there was a code book, this particular code book of L dimensional or K dimensional, right? And this complete was called as a code book. And individual, these particular were called as code vectors, right? And parallelly, you had indexes for this indexes and this was at the source end that is at the encoder side plus it was at the decoder side also so the problem in the vector quantization now arises is how to design this code book because this code book is very important part now how we are going to design the code book for the vector quantization so that particular purpose, for this purpose, we are using LBG algorithm that is Linde Buzo Gray algorithm. So that is why I have written one of the main and most important elements in the design of a vector quantizer, the generation of the code book. So this is what we are going to find in the LBG algorithm. While there are a number of ways of obtaining the vector quantizer code book, most of them are based on one particular approach, popularly known as LBG algorithm. So the concept of different algorithms which are applied for generation of codebook are many, but the main approach on which every algorithm is based is called as LBG. So we need to understand the LBG algorithm for understanding the other different approaches of generation, generation of the codebook, right? So what we are doing in LBG is let's understand how we are doing and what we are doing. One of the way, one of the way of exploiting the structure in the source output is to place the quantizer output points where the source output are most likely congregate, right? So we are talking here about the block in the vectors, the block of vectors. So we have to design the codebook. The set of quantizer output points is called the code book. So whatever the quantizer output points we get, that particular set is called as the code book of the quantizer. The process of placing these output points is called as code book design. So we have seen what is a code book. It is a set of quantizer output points and the process of placing these output points is called as the code book design. So this is what we have to do with the help of LBG. When we group the source output in two dimensional vectors, we might be able to obtain a good code book design by plotting a representative set of source output points. So if we are using, or if we have a two dimensional vector, then we can, or we might obtain a good code book design. How we can obtain? By plotting the representative set of source output points. Now, this particular approach, of designing the code book breaks down when we design higher dimensional vector quantizers. So uh, see with the help of visualization also, we can find out this code book design, but it is not possible when we are having the higher dimensional vector quantizers. Considering the code book designing for 16 dimensional quantizer, then what is it? A visual placement approach. That is what I was talking about. A visual placement approach will not work in this case. It can work only for the lower dimensional vector quantizers, but not for the higher dimensional vector quantizers. What we need to do? We need to automate the procedure for locating these source outputs are as clusters. So what we have to do? We have to define a procedure, which is automatic procedure, not a manual or visualization procedure, with the help of which we can, uh, you know, get the clusters of the source outputs. And for this particular clustering approach, we have a very 
important and very common technique and very good technique which is being used is called as k means algorithm this is a clustering algorithm i have taught you in the data mining uh, lab also i have told you what is k means algorithm so this algorithm is used for pattern recognition basically we are using k means algorithm for pattern recognition and this is basically a clustering procedure or a clustering technique for getting the results so this is a familiar problem in the field of pattern recognition it is no surprise therefore that the most popular approach to design the vector quantizers is a clustering procedure so as designing of vector quantizer is a clustering procedure so we can very easily use the concept of k means algorithm which is also used for pattern recognition applications now just a brief idea of how k means algorithm work it is we will have you know two sets one will be a initial set of k representatives that will be given to you that is defined right this is called as the initial set and the other set you have is called as the training set so on the basis of initial set you are going to get the result with the help of the training set you are going to train this initial set so given a large set of output vectors from the source known as the training set and the initial set of k representative patterns now what you have to do is assign each element of the training set to the closest representative what we have to do is we have to find the closest representative with the help of the training set assignment after an element is assigned the representative pattern is updated by computing the centroid of the training set vectors assigned to it so what we are going to do we are going to find a centroid and whatever the closest patterns we have that particular are going to be got when the assignment process is complete we will have k groups of vector cluster around each of the output points so whatever the output points we have let's say this is an output point and this is an output point we will have a k group where these particular output points will be clustered by these particular k groups so this is how we are going to find or work with the k means algorithm so we are using this basic concept of k means in the lbg algorithm also so let's see this is an uh, you know algorithm which is designed or which says that what we have to do we have to start with an initial set so there are two sets one is called as the initial set which is of the reconstruction value that is defined by this y and the other set we have is the training set of vectors right so two set set one is initial set as defined in the k means and the second set is called as the training vector set right that is defined by the x now set k is equal to 0 what we are going to define we are going to find out the first of all we are going to find out the k that is the group of clusters and then we are going to find the d d is called as the distortion right distortion for the first that is zeroth iteration that will be equal to initially 0 and then we are going to update it as the questions is done now the vector regions the quantization regions will be vik that will be raised to the power y is equal to 1 to m now this i will explain you with the help of an example that would make you very clear because this is showing that what we have we have to find out the closest match so when we have to find out the closest match we are going to find out which one is greater and which one is lesser right so we assume that none of the quantization regions are empty third point what we have to do now we have to compute the average distortion average distortion is denoted by d raised to the power k between the training vectors and the representative reconstruction value that is both the sets the training set and the initial set we have to find the average distortion now if average distortion that is dk minus dk minus 1 divided by dk that is these are the two different iterations we have to follow we have to find the difference we will work on and we will add k is equal to k plus 1 that means next iteration will be done find new reconstruction values that is denoted by y here i is equal to i raised to the power 0th iteration so this is i raised to the power k 
that are average value of the elements of each of the quantization regions and after that you have to go directly to the second step that is again you have to find out the closest match so this iteration goes on till we get the same reconstructed values or the initial set and once we get the same initial sets what we are going to do we are going to get the result regarding that right so uh, i know this must not have been very clear to you so we will deal with this particular algorithm within with the help of the example right uh, hope this particular will give you a clear picture regarding why we are using lpg and what concept lbg uses right so uh, this is the lbg algorithm concept and 